Jadi kami sediakan di dalam dewan ini Just scan QR code itu untuk membawa anda about the concept of bubble tourism which you had mentioned um, in July and August. Um, how feasible is this concept? And uh, I know uh, uh, you had mentioned that uh, some rundingan and all were going on. Yeah. But okay. which country has come forward as a stepping stone to make this a reality? Because many countries are still afraid and the borders are, re are shut. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how I just want to know how viable is this concept as, at a time where the economy is, uh, is at a very bad place and people are not earning as what they used to. So why, yeah. where are we with that? Yeah, I think uh, talking about uh, travel bubbles, we have been we have been working on it since I think uh, for the past uh, one or two months. Uh, we have to identify. Uh, we have ide we have identified first. We had identified um, through countries, and suddenly some of the countries that we have identified, um, some of them they have already had their second wave. For example, like China, they have Beijing, and Australia, they have Melbourne. So looking at that, we cannot just rely on just the country. So we have to look into destination. That was the second time, I mean, the second kind of um, identification that we have been looking into the, the characteris characteristic of what we were looking into for travel bubbles. And then suddenly when we thought maybe if we just rely on the countries, we, just the, the, dis the destination, it may, not, it may not work still. So the recent one, we have worked together with other um, ministries. Um, apart, I mean, from, from MOTEC, we work together with MOH. We also work with Wisma Putra. We work with um, um, KDN, uh, Home Affairs, and um, um, MKN. Uh, MKN. We have been given the task to look into or to define uh, what we mean by the new travel bubbles, that is the reciprocal uh, green lane, one of them, and then also looking into periodic periodical commuting uh, arrangements. And this one is very, this has, uh, this is very close to us, that is Singapore. Uh, we are looking into Singapore first. And um, as, as you all also have read about Singapore and Malaysia, we have already agreed to allow essential services to come and go. So we, we, we need to identify the countries based on um, activities now. I think even just now, if you saw what, what we were launching just now, we were talking about islands, we were talking about um, activities, we were talking about gastronomy, talking about food, talking about um, the theme of thing, eh? yeah. So it, 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 this is uh, this is considered as uh, the summary of everything. But this is related to what we have been identifying. So um, the the green bubbles that we are looking about um, needs to be um, monitored as well. Um, not only other countries are not yet open to to us or not just us. This is global actually because a lot of the countries they are talking about staycation. They want to um, keep their people safe and they want their people to spend their money in the country. It's also domestic tourism. So in the case of Malaysia, we are also looking at the same thing. We, ha we want to be safe. We want our people to be safe. We want people to come to our country to be safe. And, uh, but of course, at the same time, we need to look forward to make sure the economy is growing. And now, MOTEC has been tasked by the government, uh, by all the other uh, ministries, to put forward our proposals with our SOPs once we are ready. So um, it, it should be ready within the latest, maybe next week, for us to propose to the, um, the Security Council, Majlis, and then, uh, Majlis, the Majlis Keselamatan uh, um, MKN. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that is the status for the moment, okay? Thank you.